you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 3rd wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 20 verses 17 to 28 while jesus was going up to jerusalem He took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand over to the Gentile to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with their sons, and kneeling before him, she asked in favor of him, and he said to her what do you want she said to him declare that these two sons of mine will sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom but jesus answered you do not know what you are asking are you able to drink the cup that i am about to drink they said to him we are able he said to them you will indeed drink my cup but to sit at my right hand and at my left This is not mine to grant but it is for those who for whom it has been prepared by my father when the 10 heard it they were angry with the two brothers and jesus called them to him and said you know that the rulers of the gentiles lord it over them and their great ones are tyrant over them it will not be so among you but who ever wishes to be great among you must be your servant and who you wish to be first among you must be your slave just as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends jesus takes his disciples aside to let them know what is going to happen to him this is in fact the third time he has told them this it is the third and most detailed of the passion predictions for the first time mention is made of being handed over to the gentiles the text follows mark very closely except that uh, there mark says that jesus will be killed matthew explicitly says crucified their reactions are not recorded here but we know that on previous occasions they were both shocked and saddened they were also perplexed he would people do this to the messiah for whom they had waited for long they could their own leaders do this to the messiah even worse how could they hand him over to the hands of the hate romans they did not yet understand how jesus would enter his glory through rejection suffering and death in fact they have still a lot of learn as what follows clearly indicates the mother of james and john appro- approaches jesus with a request a typical mother's request in mark's gospel it is the boys themselves who ask favor why matthew makes the mother ask is not clear there could be an illu- illusion here to that say by the way for for king david seeking the kingdom of her son solomon another possibility is that uh, matthew is more differential to the disciples than mark who regularly shows up their failure to understand the meaning of jesus teaching what is it you want jesus asks for ask him if jesus asks me that question right now what answer should i give she asked that her sons be on right side and left side in the kingdom kingdom here is to be taken in the sense in which jesus normally uses it that is the kingdom of god on earth rather than referring to jesus in glory the two disciples envision jesus as messiah king of his people and with a quote like every other early kings the mother uses her contact with the birds and in authority to get some short cut privileges for her sense understandable 
indeed but not the way that god or jesus works the other 10 disciples are not much better they are angry and indignant about the backdoor tactics of james and john obviously their king thinking is uh, no different so jesus teaches them about real greatness in the secular world leaders expect accept power domination and manipulation they control power they control people for their own ends in jesus world it is altogether different to be great is to put one's talents totally at the service of others to empower not to have power jesus himself is a perfect example it is a lesson we do not find easy to learn or to follow and jesus says in conclusion just as so the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many ransom here is to be taken in the sense of liberation making free many as a semitic expression means all jesus put his whole life at your disposal so that every single person should experience liberation and fullness of life we are called to take part in the sense of great enterprises amen may god bless us